The goal was just to get the bare minimum of what we need, but you know the girl cannot pass up a deal, especially on some meat. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you're new here, welcome. So today we have a weekly grocery haul. I just did my huge monthly haul at Sam's Club and at Walmart. So definitely go and check out that video. I'll have it linked in the iCards above and in the description box down below. But we do weekly fill-in hauls as well for produce especially. However, we did go ahead and do an imperfect foods order because they are just killing it with some of the meat options. And also I ran into a couple of specialty stores for some sales as well because meat in my area still is super high. So if I can find a good deal on it, I'm definitely going to stock up and put it in our deep freeze. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up at Walmart for the online grocery pickup and some of the other quick fill-in stores. $82 with tax a grocery haul. We also did an imperfect foods order again, guys. I have some credits. Thanks to y'all. Thank y'all so much for using that link down below. It gets you $10 off your order, y'all, and it also gives me $10 in return, and we thank you so much for that. What I've been doing with my credits is stocking up on their meats. So their meats are incredible. I can attest their grass-fed ribeyes are so on point flavorful and so juicy and tender. So being that meat prices are still hella pricey by me, I've been stocking up our freezer with meats, sausages, bacon, clean, clean meats, bacon, and sausage guys over there at great prices shipped to your door. So definitely go and check out Imperfect Foods. I have a link down below. Again, that'll get you $10 off. Speaking of getting you $10 off, I do have a link down below that will get you $10 off your Walmart online grocery pickup for the first time. So make sure you check that out if you are new to the pickup. So what did I get for $82 with tax? I got an English cucumber for salads. I have planned on the meal plan this week to eat some big salads every single day for lunch really enjoying that and I've been feeling great when eating more vegetables and fruits in my diet. This was a substitution. I put some organic raspberries, just one little pint in my cart and they were out. So they subbed me for the bigger size, which was nice, not organic, but I will take it nonetheless. Gluten-free bread for the boys. The mountain white one is the best. It's, it's way wide in my opinion than the other kind that we used to buy. And this is gluten-free, really good ingredients is Canyon Bakehouse. It lasts all week guys. And Trey has been loving peanut butter and jelly so, so much with this bread. It's a really great option for your kids. Waylon goes through bananas every week. I always have to get a big bunch of those. I have been flying through baby spinach. I mentioned the salads. I've been buying the big spinach at Sam's Club. It's a much better deal than Walmart. It's like a dollar and 50 cents cheaper. We're gonna do a, a Sam's Club order next week, so I'll be getting it there next week, but I didn't feel like going to Sam's or didn't need to go to Sam's, so we just got everything at Walmart, but this is good. It's organic baby spinach, and again, it's still not a bad price for this huge 16 ounce. At the hubby, a big tomato for slicing with salt and pepper on the side of dinners this week, or bunless burgers. I have have on the menu some feta and spinach I think burgers we're going to be doing some Greek style it sounds and looks delicious I have some avocados left over but I only need I tried to only get the bare minimum what I needed this week since we just did our monthly orders this is the only things that we absolutely needed for recipes or we're out of so I need three avocados to tide me over until we do our Sam's Club order next week I needed a bunch of spices I got some organic thyme organic rosemary I love getting these little organic ones Ones in the packages at Walmart. They're like a buck 98, really great price versus getting the dried kind. And yeah, the dried kind is probably a better deal in the long run, but I like buying this because it is fresh. I love fresh spices and herbs so much. Now my parsley doesn't look that great. It looks pretty smushed and it's the curly kind. They've been out of the flat Italian. That's my favorite, but it is what it is. We will use it. I love this Faye yogurt and I've gotten so many questions about the Faye yogurt guys. The reason why I get this one is because it is full fat and just FYI, I did find this at Whole Foods. So if you don't find this at your Walmart, check your local Whole Foods. It's not this big tub. It's the half tub container and they sell it in the single little cups. But I will tell you that the single cups have more carb countage than this big one. Too Good does that too with their big ones and the little ones. I don't know why, but they do. But this one is the one I gravitate towards and y'all have been asking so many questions because it has 160 calories, nine grams of fat, 15 protein, five sugars, five carbs, and that's for three fourths of a cup. I don't eat that much in a sitting guys. I eat about 
3.5 to 4 ounces, which is about 3 to 4 net carbs and sugars per time that I eat this. The stuff is delicious. You're going to love it. Y'all ask me what the difference is between this and the 2%. The 2% doesn't have as much fat. So for keto macros, we want to have as much fat in there as possible. And it's got a hellacious amount of protein. But this stuff is so delicious. You can eat it straight out the container. You don't even need to add anything to it, guys. It is so good and so clean. Of course, we got some white American cheese by Land Lakes for the keto queso. That is for Trey. That is a staple every single week. I do have some of these on hand, but not enough to last me through the week because I'm going to be eating these almost daily. I love these Butterball all natural turkey breast or turkey breakfast sausage patties. And again, y'all ask me why I opt for these versus like the regular sausage patties from Great Value. It's because these are only five and a half grams of fat, 10 protein and 90 calories for two patties. Whereas the ones from Great Value are 20 grams of fat per patty guys. And I don't know about y'all, but I add avocado, eggs, all that stuff. So if I'm eating two of those, that's 40 grams of fat. I can add my fats from other sources. So I like to go here lately, lean with my proteins and add my fats in other ways so I'm not breaking the bank on my macros. And these are freaking delicious as well. I only picked up one of the Vans gluten-free original waffles because we have some on hand, but not enough to last us until my next grocery haul. So I got one until our next pickup. I got some new things because I've got a lot of new recipes I'm gonna be trying and bring to y'all. So I'm gonna be making some blueberry lemon macadamia nut muffins this week is on the meal plan, something new. And I've tried these macadamia nuts before by great value. They're really good. Much better deal to get them at Sam's or Costco, but I just needed a little bit for this recipe. So I opted for that. I think these were like $2, so not too terrible. My spicy coconut chicken drumstick recipe. That's in the recipes playlist here on my channel and it will be in my e-cookbook that I'm launching pretty soon, guys. Be on the lookout for that. It's the coconut milk, um, a taste of Thai. And this one has two net carbs for a third of a cup. You know, they have about one to two net carbs depending on which brand that you get. So it is what it is. It's not going to be detrimental to the recipe. So I needed that. I know, what is my life, guys? I want to buy the big peppercorns from Sam's Club. It's like $6.98 for this huge thing. And I bought a peppercorn grinder to refill with to do that. So it'd be more cost efficient because you know, I'm always trying to save money around here. But until we go to Sam's Club for our next monthly order, I'm gonna put that in my monthly order. This is gonna last us for the month. I'm totally out of pepper. This is the one that I bought last time to last until we can do a monthly order to stock up. Like I said, I got a refillable pepper grinder from Amazon for really cheap and $6.98 for this huge thing at Sam's. That's gonna be better than paying $2 like every few weeks for that. I'm making a chipotle salad sour cream like drizzle. Oh my gosh, doesn't that sound freaking delicious? I have zero of this. This is a chipotle chili pepper. This was $4.98. Guys, spices are so flipping high. Like what is the deal? Like I hate buying any, if I run out of something, I hate having to rebuy it because they're so flipping expensive. That's why I like saving and buying from Sam's Club because you get way more for your buck. Just FYI, if you have a Sam's Club or a Costco, more cost efficient if you have room for it for sure. But I needed this for that recipe and I bit the bullet and bought it. Those feta spinach burgers I was talking about, we needed some sun dried tomatoes and these are really good. They are only like two net carbs for it says five grams, which isn't a lot, but the ingredients are just California sun dried tomatoes prepared with a sulfur dioxide for color retention. So they were the cleanest ones. All the ones in oils and stuff were like hella high in carbs and they were nasty. So I'm gonna dice these up and put them in those burgers. They're gonna be delicious. I know I just bought Lily's chocolate, but I've been making those granola bars like crazy. And I have an almond butter fudge recipe I'm gonna be playing with. And if it comes out good, I will be sharing it, but I needed some more baking chocolate for that. And I love the semi-sweet because they are zero net carbs because you take the five fiber and the three erythritol, which is your sugar alcohols, and you subtract that from the eight total carbs. So it's zero net carbs for this. Amazing, I love this stuff. It melts great, delicious, can't rave about it enough. Y'all know I love these Neutrogena Fragrance Free is the ones I have to get. I can't get the regular ones, so I can't get the ones at Sam's Club. I know, womp womp. They don't sell the fragrance free ones. I need those because I have super sensitive skin and especially around my eyes with um, eyelid dermatitis, which I haven't had a flare up in a long, long time, but I don't want to. And these are the only ones that do not affect me at all. So I got that just one this time instead of doing the double pack. And this was a substitution. So Sam's Club has been out of their paper towels forever. I was able to get some a couple months ago, but we're down to our last roll. I put the great value double rolls. I think they're bigger as far as rolls go, but they were out. So they subbed me for the Scott 
double six rolls, which are totally fine. We love Scott for my couponing days, but I don't think they're as big as the other ones. But as long as I got a paper towel in the house, we're good. So that's everything I got from the Walmart grocery pickup for 82 bucks. Like I said, we did that imperfect foods order. And now I'm gonna show you a little run-in that we did for Winn-Dixie because they had some killer meat deals. They did have some meat deals locally. I'm trying, I'm trying. And Whole Foods, Rouse's. So I did pick up a few things from Winn-Dixie, Rouse's, and Whole Foods that we needed that I can't get at Walmart. So I could not pass up on this deal, guys. They had their pork spare ribs, buy one, get one free. So this was... $22.38 for two slabs. I mean, that's crazy. When this is six pounds, this one is six pounds pretty much as well. So 12 pounds of ribs for $22.38. I mean, that's insane. I'm just gonna pop these in the freezer. And instead of our steak night, we probably will have ribs because I've been craving some ribs and they've been so pricey. But when I knew that they were gonna be buy one, get one free at Winn-Dixie, I had to score on that deal and just put them in the freezer. Another thing I had to score on was the coffee. So I am a huge fan of community coffee as most of y'all know and I love this two times caffeinated there's only 10 cups versus 12 in here but that's okay they were on sale for $3.99 a, a two pack or like a 24 count Walmart's like $13 so this was definitely a better deal to get 20 cups for about eight bucks I didn't get any of the other flavors because I have some still on hand, but that was a great deal. Another great deal was the Ginio turkey burgers. Now, I always stress to y'all that I love these the most because of the ingredients. It's just turkey, salt, and rosemary extract. These were also buy one, get one free. And I think after the buy one, get one free, it made them $4.45 a piece and you get six burgers in there. They're more expensive at Walmart. So I went ahead and stocked up because this is the burger that we're gonna be using from now on for me and the hubby because we can add our own fats to it. It does have a pretty significant amount of fat already guys 15 grams of fat and 25 grams of protein 240 calories so you can just add your other fats and get them in that way versus just the burger and your macros are spent for the day that's all i got at winn-dixie at rouse's i needed some more of the good good jam for the boys they love the sweet raspberry one it's only 3.99 at my rouse's which is incredible i haven't seen the other flavors yet but i know they do sell them but they only have this one at mine so far and on Amazon, it's $10. So if you have a Rouse's, get it there. It's much cheaper. And I also needed some Thai kitchen red curry paste for my spicy coconut chicken drumstick recipe. I like this one because it is less than one carb for a teaspoon. So pretty clean ingredients and keto friendly. Whole Foods, I went in specifically for nut pods, y'all. Not any nut pods on the shelf at all. They were completely out of nut pods. What is my life? But I found some new stuff that I've seen people rave about, so I'm excited to try it. Hopefully it's good. I got the Califia Farms Keto Creamer. So this one's cool because it has 500 milligrams of MCTs, almond milk and coconut cream. The macros are clean. One gram of fat for a tablespoon, 10 calories, no protein, no carbs at all. Here's the ingredients, almond milk, water, coconut cream, coconut MCT oil, sunflower lectum. Man, it's got great clean ingredients. I hope it tastes good because it's pretty much, you know, unsweetened, but I'm gonna give it a try. I was very intrigued by the MCT oil added to it. So we're gonna see how it tastes in the coffee. Everybody raves about the Califia Farms toasted coconut almond milk blend, and this one doesn't have carrageenan in it. It's 45 calories for eight ounces, four grams of fat, zero net carbs because we gotta cancel that fiber there and one gram of protein. Again, ingredients so super clean with this brand. Check though, they have a lot of different versions of things and some things are not low carb or keto friendly, some things are. So make sure you check your labels. Everybody raves how good this one is. I'm gonna use this one as a coffee creamer too and in my protein coffee and see how I like it. This is something I always snag at Whole Foods because I only go to Whole Foods like maybe once or once every two months, something like that here lately since lockdown. And these organic 365 Whole Foods brands, peanut butter crackers and cheese crackers organic are so good guys. Much better than like your Lance gluten-free ones. These have a ton of ingredients in them, but y'all see how it says organic expeller press sunflower oil, organic cane sugar. I mean, it does have some sugar in and things like that, but everything is super clean, expeller pressed, organic. That's what we want. It's definitely not low carb or keto guys, but as far as a good cracker option for your kids versus Ritz and some of the other ones, you want to go for this one and it's like $2.99 a box. It's pretty comparable to the name brand. So that's what I got from Whole Foods, Rouse's, and Winn-Dixie to fill in the things that I could not get from 
Walmart. Trey's living his best life. So that's my weekly grocery haul this week. Give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these grocery hauls every single Tuesday here on my channel. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you a part of the family. So make sure you hit all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every time I upload a new grocery haul. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing night, an amazing day, an amazing week, and we'll see y'all next week with another grocery haul. Bye y'all.